John Cotter, Media Mayhem here, and her loss came out, but not only that, Lil Yachty was featured on the album as a producer, not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. And it's almost not that surprising when you look at the recent developments between Drake and Yachty and how much they've been together, but then also just kind of looking at their past as well. We all know uh, the song Oprah's Bank Account that came out a little over two years ago, which featured a fantastic Drake verse. And, you know, I think a lot of people slept on this song and I think it should have been a little bit bigger, but great, great verse from Drake. We don't really see him give these kind of, I think, fitting verses to a song like this where it was very i very purposefully and i think effectively funny and that sort of humor is carried on to her loss in a lot of ways and a lot of the songs especially the ones that yadi helped produce on and not only produce but he provided his ad libs in a few i think pivotal moments like in major distribution which is essentially the lead into the album after the intro uh yadi provides some fantastic ad-libs and obviously they're they're kind of minute in, in the grand scheme of things but they kind of remind me of how asap rocky used playboy cardi on the album testing and i say that because he wasn't credited on every song he worked on but you could hear his ad-libs sort of in the sonic atmosphere there and it, and it worked to the album's benefit and to each of the songs benefit that you saw him on now looking specifically at all the songs that yadi had production credits on we have back outside boys which features a lot of the um internet money guys privileged rappers with earl on the beat who uh, is you know one of lil yadi's main producers p and millions um which is one of the best songs on the album and i think one that will prove to be the biggest out of all of them in terms of charting potential and then jumbotron as pop and with filthy and oogie main so basically the working on dying guys and it almost feels like a full circle moment looking towards like back to 2016 when yadi released low about one and i think that was a very polarizing moment for a lot of people in the industry saying okay is this guy a joke is he parody is he not you know people were almost trying to align him under like a weird al yankovic like like comedy rapper even though like like that wasn't the point the point was he was he was him. He did what he wanted to do and had this characteristic persona, kind of a duality there with Darnell Boat, if you remember that whole thing. It was really interesting and really cool and something we didn't see a lot. And Lil Yachty has managed to not only stay in the forefront of rap and hip hop, but improve his presence. And I think prove his, his viral potential and vers versatility to a lot of people. You know, outside of him producing on this album, he also chose the album cover, which, uh, you know, speaking of polarizing, I think that's what this album cover has been. And, it, and you know, I think it's been a trend in, in rap and in the in mainly rap as of late to have like questionable album covers that aren't necessarily bad, but, you know, start discussion, get people talking. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What, what does it mean? Are we supposed to talk about it? You know, I saw people trying to say like, no, this is a good album cover and then basically defend their stance with a bunch of i think made up context around the artistic meanings of this and it's like that kind of ruins it of like defending it with your own stance like that as sort of an objective marker because what makes it cool is that there is no real context behind it obviously this is a real model i'm not going to go into the pictures because some of them are kind of graphic but the picture was i believe taken because yadi said this person brought it to life by aris Oh my gosh, Aris Tatilovic. I, I'm, I try my best, but he actually um, created the sweatshirt that we could see in the polling music video and also has been a designer for quite some time and made some really interesting clothing. He's done a lot of work with the Concrete Boys, and if you know Yachty, he's, that's sort of his thing. Um, made some stuff for Uzi. And if you look at his clothing, it's, it's interesting. You know, it's kind of avant-garde, like something like this. But then the belts are, are what I think are really interesting here. This sort of, I don't know if it's leather, but it's a puffer, puffer belts. That's what people are calling it. Super cool. So it's kind of cool to see Yachty take someone under, under his wing like Drake sort of did with to him in this aspect. You know, kind of bring people along with him uh, for the success that he's garnering right now. And, you know, what I also think was really interesting about <clears throat> specifically major distribution is... The beat, the beat switch after the intro sounds 
very, very similar to another Lil Yachty song, and that song being um, TD. And the beat just, you know, and this was a sampled beat as well, but, you know, the flow is also similar. So it's very clear that that Drake kind of picked, has picked up on Lil Yachty's music, been a fan of it for a while, whatever, whatever. And I kind of agree where it's like, I'm an avid defender of um, Michigan Boy Boat. I think it's fantastic. And I think Yachty kind of positioning Michigan in the mainstream. I'm not saying he put these people on, but he, you know, not hurting their chances for sure. And doing that and what was, I, I think was great. And now to see Drake sort of do that at a bigger scale with Lil Yachty, someone who obviously doesn't need the cosigns and the production credits. He doesn't necessarily need those things, but it doesn't hurt. And, and I think that's kind of the beauty of this all, but uh, the beauty of all of this, but yeah, you know, we, we know that Drake and Yachty have been <laughs> hanging out. The, these pictures are, are interesting to say the least. Um, get, flew him on air. Drake got him the whole Chrome, Chrome Hearts clothing, all that. But, you know, I think it's really cool to see artists brought on to a project not only being credited but you can see their influence and hear it in real time and i think that's exactly what we saw here with lil yachty's presence on her loss so let me know what did you guys think of the album were you surprised to see lil yachty's contributions trickled across across it like comment subscribe all that fun stuff thank you for watching and have a great weekend